All right, so then let's talk about the accuracy. Um, and what I do know about surveyors is they're all about this uh, ground sampling distance and and really just how many pixels, uh, how many, how the distance per pixel. Um, how are you achieving this better accuracy, especially because it seems like you're flying at a higher altitude in most cases? Yeah, so the, you know, it comes down to the resolution of the camera and, you know, the higher the resolution, the higher the accuracy with our 42 megapixel uh, sensor, it's extremely accurate. And we could adjust the different flight heights uh, if you want to increase the or decrease the ground sampling distance. What's nice about the project planning software is you enter in what you want the ground sampling distance to be, and it will tell you what what the flight will be like what the height is so you don't have to do any like versions or things like that like it will like set that up for you uh what's interesting too is we have a we did two projects one in zurich and one in uh, arizona uh to get down to centimeter per pixel accuracy and you know again it's a workflow it's a combination of base station or course network tying into the ppk and the post process yeah, and so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about payloads. It's, maybe it's shortly. This came up, and and I collected this from your from your uh, materials that you have. And it, can you talk about like the the number of points that are collected it, versus the traditional uh, GLONASS GNSS survey, whatever? Uh, what what is this? saying i mean what is this talking about drones in general or is this particular to wingtra as far as gathering this number of points uh this is similar to uh, in drones in particular they're collecting other uh significant amount of data points uh i think where it comes along is the difference went between uh like lidar versus photogrammetry and you look at the different like data points in that you know with uh photogrammetry uh, you are able to, you know, collect per like square meter, you know, something like 20,000 points of reference. Uh, with a LIDAR, depending on with a higher end man, like aircraft LIDAR or, you know, something around like, you know, 90 grand or more expensive, you're going to get significant, you're going to get a similar um, level of, you know, points. But like with a more entry level LIDAR, then you're going to get, uh, you know, 50 to 200 points per square meter, but not significantly uh, uniformly distributed. Uh, but also, you know, that takes into account, like, is there vegetation? What's in the area? What you're looking for? But as this picture goes, this is just saying, like, when you're doing uh, the drone survey, because of the, you know, the rate of capture, like, the and the, photos overlaying themselves like you are getting hundreds thousands of points like even within a small area 